Hello everybody, I'm Sam Sunch on the Spockers Stand YouTube page, and welcome to the SCS Pre-Race Show for the Sport Clubs VFW Help a Hero 200. I think it's what this Xfinity race is called, I don't know, race names now are so weird and, and chunky. But, uh, welcome to the show. Um, hoping that uh, we can uh, have good weather for this race tomorrow, because the weather is um, not looking the best, to be completely honest. Um, or it wasn't earlier in the week anyway. Let me actually look up the weather for Darlington for tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, so... Three races left in the regular season. Um, obviously, the big news last or this week that um, Jeremy Clements' win would not qualify for the playoffs. However, on every point side, I'm seeing that it still does. That is likely because they are appealing the penalty. The weather is looking much better. No significant chance of rain Saturday and Sunday is looking great as well. So the weather thankfully will be much better. It, it'll be cloudy. Um, won't be sunny, but it, uh, at least it won't be raining. So thankfully the weather's looking much better. But uh, we'll see. Jeremy Clements and them don't believe that that penalty or what they were penalized for gave them any significant um, advantage. So that is why they are appealing. Um, but yeah, just wanted to let you guys know uh, know that. But still big. You got Almendinger, Gibbs, Algar, all still going for that regular season title. And if the appeal is um, granted, um, then I believe we have a 12-point playoff battle between, you know, 12th and 13th. If not, then it's must-win territory for these last three races. Uh, weekend schedule-wise, it all kicks off at 10.05 a.m. tomorrow, practice and qualifying. Qualify at 10.35, so about half an hour of practice, I believe about 15 minutes for each group. Unfortunately, it's only on the NBC Sports Network. Next TV deal, NASCAR, please have a clause or something in there that says each practice and qualifying session for the top three series must be shown on a cable provider. Uh, not only is it frustrating not get to watch practice and qualifying and, and judge you know, what these guys have for the race weekend, and I know it's really only for Xfinity and trucks that we've had this issue, but it's annoying. How are folks supposed to see what NASCAR is if they can't see practice and qualifying a vital part of the race weekend? It's just, it's annoying. Um, and I, whatever programming you have, you can surely move it out of the way for half an hour of practice and an hour of qualifying. Because what's likely going to be on FS1 or USA on Friday afternoon or Saturday night is, I don't know, a rerun of a movie, a, a rerun of a TV show, a cartoon, what, you know, whatever it is. It's, it's a live sporting, I guess, something leading up to an event would not, um, at least in my mind, doesn't constitute leaving that event out. So that's just my opinion on that. And then the race is at 3 p.m. Eastern on USA, Sirius X and NASCAR Radio, the NBC Sports app, and MRN. I'll be listening and, and keeping up with it at work along with the Arkansas football game tour. Uh, countdown to Green on USA, I believe, is at 2.30, and I believe MRN, the coverage will start at 2.30. I think the only one-hour period show they have is for the cup races. Um, but yeah, standing wise, Ullman Inner still leads the regular season and it's Gibbs, Allgaier, Gregson, Barry, Hill, Jones. Playoff wise, right now, Clement Twins stand, which sounding that, you know, maybe you know, these appeals are rarely ever granted. It does sound like he has a, a good grounds for it being granted with him, him saying there's not, you know, an advantage sheet that was gained. It would move Ryan C. out of the playoffs by 12 points. Shelly Creed would only be 55 back. Then Alfredo, Brown, Snyder, Burton. I believe Brown, Snyder, Burton essentially have to win, as well as Alfredo. Creed and C. could point their way in. I think C. would obviously be the much more likely choice to point his way in. Uh, but yeah, and then you have Mater's gap, only 86 points. Herbst only 107, and Hamrick only 33. That's only if the penalty is... is um, or if the appeal is granted, though. Um, so you can go watch stat tracking to see kind of a more detailed look at the, the spring Xfinity race there. Um, and I said the group, or the manufacturer to look out for, Buschetti, JRM, and uh, you also have Hendrick in the 17 running this weekend. Um, that was supposed to be the 88 with Larson, but it's actually going to be the 17. 
Then you also have the 18, which was supposed to be Denny Hamlin, but a big story in the NASCAR news cycle this week was that you know, safety next gen car popping up again. We're not really going to talk about this on a, on a previous show, but um, he, Unisortis, sitting out the Infinity race, Christopher Bell, and then for Denny Hamlin, so we'll see if Bell uh, can go win. Hamlin's won a few of these over the years. I remember last week he was in position to win it, and I think he had a penalty or something late in the race. And he was unable to get the win. No, Gregson claimed the win then. Justin Allgaier won it in the spring. And gosh dang it, it's really hard to pick against a JRM car. That's why I'm picking a JRM car. Um, or a JRM Alliance car. I'm going Kyle Larson. I was really on the fence between Gregson, Allgaier, and, um, and Larson. I, I, I don't feel too great about picking Christopher Bell, to be honest. I, I might... I, I definitely had Denny Hamlin on my list of favorites at the start of the week when I thought he'd still be racing in this race, and then uh, he's not. But I am going to pick Kyle Larson. He's a cup champion. He nearly won the Southern 500 last year. Um, didn't really get a chance to show out in the cup race in the spring because he blew an injury. So um, I think Kyle Larson gets the win, but look for Gregson and all guy to be strong. Obviously, Ty Gibbs, Adrian Olmdinger has been so consistent all year long. And then Josh Berry, maybe Sam Mayer, they can get up there and mix it up. Uh, Riley Herbst, you saw that 98 win there in 2020. And then Bell, obviously, cup regular, you know, he might come in and run well. And I don't think he ate H running at all this week. But yeah, pick is Kyle Larson. So let me know your picks for the race win. And uh, even the poll, I guess I'll get my poll pick. Who do I think is going to win the poll? It seems like Ty Gibbs has won like five polls this year. So I'll go with Ty Gibbs to win the poll. Um, and I guess... I'll say Ty Gibbs wins practice, too, and then finishes, like, third in the race or something. But let me know your predictions for practice qualifying in the race all down in the comments below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and share the video and the channel with your friends, family, or anyone you know who likes NASCAR. And go check out my social blade. I just uh, put that link in the description or anything, so make sure you go check it out. I'm Samuel Sosh from the Spider-Shane YouTube page, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.